Hi everyone, my name is Tally and welcome back to my channel. On here we talk about everything from luxury, lifestyle, vintage items, and mainly purses. Although today we won't be talking about purses, which is out of the norm for me. It's usually like beauty favorites or like makeup products or purses because I have an obsession. Um, another obsession of mine that you guys might not know is jewelry like rings vintage rings I am completely obsessed with so I just wanted to come up on here and show you like my collection I do have like a bunch of just like rings that I have um, been gifted have been have purchased or just like when I travel I'll like pick something up in a new city I'm in or like wherever I move to so yeah let's start off with my wedding ring because obviously like that's my favorite um it is this piece right here it is 2.8 carats um total carat diamond worth it's in the era i believe the 1930s um and i purchased this from a vintage store in new orleans when well i didn't purchase it my husband um purchased it for me obviously as um, my wedding ring it was already soldered together and I didn't want it to be apart because I would have soldered it together anyways it sits pretty high up but there is four diamonds on the bottom um, one diamond on each side and then five diamonds in the middle there um, and it's just gorgeous. It's in a 14 karat yellow gold setting. I'm a very gold girl. I have been like wearing like silver white jewelry more. So, um, which is kind of nice because this is a yellow gold band and the setting is a white gold band, which was pretty popular in that era just because then it like kind of looks like the diamond itself. Um, I guess you would call this like a cluster ring, but the diamonds are pretty, you know, significantly big. I feel like they're like, I don't know, they're about like, actually, I don't know, I'm not a gemologist. <laughs> but yeah, so that one is definitely my favorite. Um, I wear her every day or try to at least, not when I'm working out though. Don't mind my thumb. These are my natural nails, but when I was working out, I broke. So yeah, you go with that one. Um, a ring that I wore to during my wedding was on my other left finger and it was this. It is this Tahitian pearl ring with a half, half carat diamond on each side. I believe it's half carat diamond. Don't quote me. I got this as a graduation gift from my mom from college. Um, and it is in a platinum setting. Again, it's like white or like that silver color, you know, not gold, obviously. So I wore this on my right hand. I really wanted to wear um, jewelry that signified, was significant to me. So I really wanted to wear her even though she's not gold, but she means a lot to me because of, um, cause my mom, my mom gifted it to me for graduation. So I wore that on my right finger for my wedding. And then I'm also missing another nail, so don't mind me. Um, and then another ring that I wore was a Marquise diamond ring, and I was on this finger for my wedding day. But one of my best friends got married recently, and um, she just like they're not like the ring type people. But I was like drunk, and I was of course I was drunk, and I was like, you know what, you need a ring. So I took my ring off and gave it to her, which I'm really happy about because like they're important to me so I'm glad that I could you know I mean it's obviously not her wedding ring but I'm glad that I was able to give that to her as a gift um drunk or not <laughs> um another ring that I am in love with is this one that my well okay so my husband purchased this for me and it's you know those like 90s rings that like all your moms wore like with the mom in it so this is mom and it has like diamond chips in it and it's in i believe it's a 10 carat setting oh no it's 14 carats 
14 karat gold setting um and i got it for my 30th birthday from my son slash husband um so my mom used to wear a similar ring to this and i'd always take it off from her and wear it so i was telling my husband that story and he found a ring just like hers and he gifted it to me since now i'm a mom all right another one that d means a lot to me is this one i got Last year for Christmas, it is three carats of um, aquamarine gemstone, which is my husband's birthstone, with about a third of carat diamonds around it and a 14 carat white gold. So as you guys can see, like not all of my jewelry pieces are antiques. Um, I just really, really love like rings. So, and if they're vintage, great. But if not, and they're beautiful, I love them, then that's really all that matters, but yeah. This one so beautiful. I'll show you the ones that my husband got for me <laughs> when we were dating. Um, this one I believe was like my 26th birthday maybe. Yeah, no, this one's, this one's actually my 26th birthday. It was like the first year we were dating and like he knew that I loved rings. And so I told him, I was like, if you're going to get me any jewelry, it's not going to mean anything. It's just going to be because I love rings. He got this from Nordstrom. I believe it's Nadir Fine Jewelry. You know, I don't, oh no, it's Lafion. I don't know. Um, but it is a rose gold with a morganite and some diamonds over top. So love her. I don't really wear her that often because I don't wear like anything like rose gold or pinkish, but really sweet gesture that he got me. All right. The next one is for my 27th birthday. I think it was this Monica Vinader green gemstone from Nordstrom as well. We both worked there, so he got a great deal on these. Um, this one is Monica Vinader. I believe this one is just like, just a fake like green gemstone um, in a 14 karat plate over sterling silver. So it doesn't turn your finger green, but it's not like solid gold or anything. All right, another one is I was super into like Marquise Diamond recently and my husband knew this about me and so did like everyone else. But anyways, I like really wanted to wear a wedding ring that, you know, if I was like traveling or if I was like working out or like just one that I can throw on and not as heavy and as big as mine. So we got me this one. It is this Marquise diamond. It's about one carat. What I love about Marquise is, which is really, there's this really cool story behind it. I think like a king or something, don't quote me, was like super in love with his, this woman or his wife or whatever so he made this diamond out of her like lip shape and so that's how the marquise like came about and i think the guy's name was last name was like marquise um marquise diamond is like really interesting because the cut of it like it makes it look like very large so this is just a one carat diamond but it looks like pretty big but um it's not that popular because it doesn't have like a much of like a sparkle to it which i don't really mind because for me it's like i still think it looks sparkly but yeah, I just throw this on when, you know, I just want to wear something simple. So, all right, this other one is really, really tacky, but you know, I love tacky jewelry. I love big in your face jewelry. I love diamonds. So this one right here, I purchased offline. It is diamond chips that equal up to one carat in diamonds and in a 14 carat white gold setting. Um, I love this for like a pointer finger ring. I've been wearing a lot of pointer finger rings lately. Um, and I've just like been wearing a lot more like accessories lately. Like I usually don't at all. Like I used to just like wear my ring you know, I have my nose ring in and I'm like good to go. But lately I've just like love, like, so I'll wear, I'll wear this, like I'll wear this. Like it's like, you know, it's a lot, but whatever. But it looks even cute with like, see how big this is. And I'll put like this one over here. But this one also actually fits this finger. So sometimes I'll just like wear it like this. So it doesn't look like it's too much. 
Um, but yeah, I'm like obsessed with this ring because it's like just so bulky. It's so in your face. It's so flashy. I don't know. I just love her. She's so cute. She makes me feel powerful. <laughs> All right. So moving on, let's see what other rings we have. Oh, here's another ring that my husband got me probably for like Christmas when we were dating one year, another Monica Venator, but this one also actually has like diamonds in it, like diamond chips in a uh, rose gold setting. So yeah, we love her. She's so cute. She's so minimalistic, very, very um, cute. We love her. Um, all right. I do have rings from like exes that I like don't talk to anymore. Like, well, I mean, obviously I just like have a jewelry from exes that I'm not, not going to get rid of because they're not like meaningful in the sense where it's like, Oh, it's like, I got you this because we're going to get married. It's more like everyone knew I love jewelry. And so as a gift, that's what I received. Um, one of my favorite rings is definitely this art like deco piece I got from an ex-boyfriend. It has diamond chips in it. I believe it equals to like a quarter of a carat. It's in a 14 gold carat gold setting. Um, yeah, I love her. She is so, so gorgeous. I do sometimes feel weird wearing it, which I feel like I shouldn't because whatever that was in the past and like it's such a beautiful piece and it should be worn um but yeah I don't know I don't care I guess it doesn't really matter but I love this ring so much I think the art deco era was like the 1920s to the 1930s era which I'm obsessed with all the rings um during that time so I feel like I have a couple but yeah we love her um, let's see what else. I'm trying to like show you like my fine jewelry pieces before moving on to the other ones. Um, oh, here's some like I bought myself. Um, this one is kind of like, you know, it looks like one of those nail rings, the Cartier nail ring. I actually just got this off of Poshmark. Um, and it does say Cartier on it. Um, but it is actually like real gold. It's not like it's like a fake Cartier and it's like real gold, but it's like not from Cartier. So, and it's actually not that comfy to be honest. It like digs into my skin. And so that's why I don't wear it as often as I should. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's cute to like wear for a couple hours, but then like there's like a part that like digs into my skin, which is not cool. So I also had a love Cartier ring that of course my sister took from me, but whatever that's besides the fact <laughs> um you know how sisters are um let's see um let's just I guess move on to like all my just like sterling silver jewelry um that I have oh here's one that's pretty cool that I really need to get fixed there's two rings right now in the shop one of them gorgeous it's from a 1960s it's 1.7 carats diamonds in total and it's like um it's like in the 1960s, there was like an era where it was like a starburst of diamond rings. So it looked like a star. Um, and that's getting resized and fixed right now because I let my little sister borrow it and it's an antique. And so two of the diamonds fell out. So I'm getting it fixed right now. And then another piece, it's actually a Victorian piece that I learned about. Um, I actually got it from my best friend when we were in middle school. He like proposed to me ever since then, like we've just been friends and I said no but I kept the ring and like I recently took it to a jeweler and I asked about it and they were like yeah this ring is 14 karat gold in an eight I guess the head of it was 14 karat gold and like the the ring itself was 18 karat gold and it was like this ruby piece with about half carat diamonds all around it so it's really gorgeous um, and I hadn't been wearing it for quite a while, but when I was running, um, like the weekend, the week before my wedding, one of the diamonds fell out and as old as it was, I didn't want to like risk it and like wear it. So I took it to the jewelers. So it's still there. I called them about it and they're like, it's really hard to find like that diamond, I guess. Cause it's like a old mine or a old mine cut or something like that. But yeah, so I really wanted to show you guys that, but I don't have that with me. So there was this ring that my dad actually got me and it is called I think it's called a belcher and it's from like the either the 1880s or like the 1900s again don't quote me I'm literally thinking it off of the top of my head like 
because I love like researching rings and looking at rings, but like I don't like keep the facts in my head, I guess. But anyway, so when we were, when I was younger, I again used to like always want rings. And so if we went to the flea market, my dad's like, okay, you can pick out something. And this ring, I believe it's 14 carat and it had a pearl in it. So it had a little pearl in it and there's not a pearl anymore, but um, I think I'm gonna take it to the jeweler and then I'm gonna put a diamond instead in it and then resize it cause it's pretty big. So we love her. All right, moving on to my sterling silver pieces. So <laughs> this ring right here is very like in your face. It is actually a real peridot. So my birthstone is peridot, it's in August. My cousin got me this ring, it's in like sterling silver. She apparently got it from like an art festival. Um, and yeah, so I love it. It's so cute, but it's like really in your face, but gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Nonetheless, um, here's another ring from an ex-boyfriend. It's actually a real pearl set in sterling silver with diamond chips all around it. Super, super pretty. I just never wear it. It's not my style anymore. I got this. My first boyfriend, we were dating for like four years, three or four years. Um, it's just like, it's been like, I don't know, 10 years. So yeah, not my style anymore. I don't love it, but cute ring <laughs> and then here's another one my aunt actually gave me this ring on my wedding day <laughs> which was really really cute it has sapphire in it and a sterling silver um i believe it's just like a cz but i wore it um the rest of the night for my wedding which i thought was super super special so love that all right here's another one from an ex-boyfriend um and he got this in colorado when he was there for like a lacrosse tournament and with this turquoise. I think it's an antique, but again, super, super pretty. I don't really wear sterling silver because I have all these like cute little like gold pieces, but anyways, um, here's when I got my senior year from my best friend. She went to Mexico and brought me back this. It's really cute. It says like Mexico inside says Mexico 925 which means like sterling silver so cute I just keep a lot of these now just for like the memories and like you know how, how much they mean to me but all right and then here's another one it is a Hermes vintage ring it says Hermes Paris on there and it is set I believe this is sterling silver or white gold but I'm not 100% sure but I know the gold is 18 karat in the the yellow gold it's 18 karat yellow gold all right and then here I'll show you just like my very fun rings that I wear that don't really have any meaning to it um I just love to wear them just to accessorize oh and then here's like also before I go that there's this Chanel button piece it's set in um sterling silver so this was like an authentic button which somebody made into a ring which I love because it's like they made it with sterling silver so it doesn't turn my finger green all, like all of Chanel's like costume jewelry is like I don't know why they don't use sterling silver they don't use like I don't know they where it's like they use things that turn your finger green if i'm paying thousands and thousands of dollars for a piece of jewelry like at least make it so it doesn't turn my finger green anyways so i got that off of poshmark which is really cool all right and then here's our just like my fun pieces that are sterling silver this one i believe i got off of amazon this one i got from tj maxx which is really cool because it has like the jaguars this one's from TJ Maxx as well. And then this one is, it looks like the Chanel like ring, but it's not, but I got that off of Amazon as well. So yes, that was like the majority of my rings. All the other ones are like, just like my crusty. Oh, here's one. Love this piece. Like this one's from Etsy. This is also 14 karat plated on two sterling silver. So it's not going to change colors or change your fingers green I'm a really big like don't change my freaking finger green kind of girl so um yeah I, I don't want to buy something that unless it's like real gold or sterling silver so yeah 
I really hope you like this haul. I know it was like kind of a shorter video and it was like kind of all over the place, but I feel like I haven't uploaded in a while and I've been really wanting to show you guys my ring collection. Um, and I'm sure I'll do like an updated one because I get rings like all the time. Like when I go somewhere new, I'm like, I have to have a ring. Or if I'm sitting in bed scrolling on my phone and I'm looking, I'm like, I have to buy that because I recently just bought one. So it's actually coming and it's so gorgeous. I cannot wait to show you. It's like a total of two, two and a half carats of diamonds and like this beautiful like waterfall ring. And that's from like the 1980s. So I'm just like, I used to be wanted to be like a jewelry or a gemologist when I was younger. So I don't know what this obsession is with me. And also I got this necklace at TJ Maxx and it is 14 karat gold on sterling silver and it says mama. And I just think it's so freaking cute cut. It's like a choker style. Anyways, I really hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys are staying safe. Oh, also one more thing that's really exciting. I was on the Dr. Oz show three times now um and i'll link two of the videos down below because i don't think the other one's aired yet so i've just been like super busy um i do have like a food blog page um and that's where like the producer contacted me from um it's on it's my instagram it's at i eat everything underscore where i just show my passion for like food um so yeah definitely check out that i'll link down my instagram as well as the video of dr oz and i anyways i hope you guys are staying safe taking care of each other and enjoying this wonderful holiday season